Hey guys, Private Jack here, and in this video we're going to look at installing a PSA PSK importer uh, for Blender. PSA PSK are extracted Unreal model types used by the Unreal Engine. So, in order to do this, what I need is a importer. So, off to the web we go. I'm going to open up the web browser, and in the search bar, I'm just going to type PSK Importer for Blender 2.8. I want 2.8 because that's the current version of Blender, right? So that'll bring up a list of stuff here, and this is the actual importer that I use. Biff's Blender 3D Import PSK PSA Import Mesh, and it's available on a GitHub. So I click that link and go off to the GitHub. This particular author does not put out releases. Okay, so if I look down here and I start clicking on links and whatnot else, what I'm going to find is that it's going to like open up the actual PY file in the browser. Now, I don't like to download code simply due to the fact that if I don't catch it all, and I try to install it, the add-on is going to break. So I'm going to go back to the actual GitHub and I'm going to download his master. And to do that, all I have to do is click on this green code button, come down here, click on download zip. This will download the uh, zip file to wherever you have your downloads going to. Currently I have mine going to the desktop and with anything I get from the net, I right click on it and I run it through a virus kit. Once it comes back, report safe, no threats. I'm happy to use the file and I can close off the virus scan and I can close off the web browser. I have what I need. <clears throat> now with this particular add-on, using the normal method of doing a edit, preference, add-ons, install, point to the zip file. There doesn't work. We have to add this one manually. And this is a good lesson for you on how to actually manually load add-ons that don't work with the installer. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that out. I'm going to minimize Blender and I'm going to show you where we have to install these particular Python files. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to open up a Windows File Explorer session and maximize it so I can see it. And where I need to go is into my C users, let's get this thing sorted properly, users, username, and then in that list of files, find app data. Okay, not the application's data. This is a shortcut. It's a linked shortcut. It will not work for you. It'll come back and say, I can't go there. You want to go into app data. Once you get into app data, you want to go to the roaming folder, drill into that, and find Blender Foundation. Inside the Blender Foundation, you'll find a Blender file. Click on that and drill into that. Now you'll see a bunch of folders in here depending on what versions of Blender that you've actually used. I've used everything from 2.79 down to 2.91. These folders contain individual configuration data for the actual user, okay? This is where all your custom add-ons are going to go, any changes that you make to the Blender interface, that kind of thing. The folder that you're probably going to want is 2.83 because you're using the current version on Steam, or it might be 2.90, which is coming out very shortly. I'm using Blender 2.91.0, the alpha, and I'm going to install the add-on here. 
So I'm going to drill into the current version of Blender that I am using. I'm going to go into the Scripts folder, and in that Scripts folder, I'm going to find an Add-ons folder. I'm going to go into that Add-ons folder, and this is where I need to install that PY file. So let's see if we can find it again. Open up the zip file. Inside the zip file, I find that there's a folder here. There's an add-ons folder. And here are those PY files. Now, 2.70 is for 2.79 and lower. 2.80 is for 2.80 and higher. So this is the one that I want. I'm going to grab that file from the zip file, and I'm going to drag and drop it here in my add-ons folder in my apps data roaming Blender Foundation, Blender current version of Blender that you're using or want to install this add-on to, Scripps add-on folder. Okay, now that that's done, I can close File Explorer, I can close the zip file, and I bring up Blender. Now, to get this thing to work, what I need to do now is I need to turn it on. So I go Edit, Preferences, and I start typing in here PSK. Well, it's not finding anything. That's because I had Blender running. If Blender is running and you add an, uh, uh, an add-on to the actual uh, folder, what you have to do is you have to do a refresh. So I'm just going to clear this. You see that it's not there now. And I'm going to click the Refresh button. Now if I type in PSK, it finds it, okay? What that does is it forces Blender to go back and look at those folders and find out if there's any new add-ons that you've added. As I say, uh, add-ons install in disabled mode. I have to turn it on, so I click on the little box here, and it's on. So, where is it? Well, if I come in here now to File, Import, I'm going to find that I have importers for PSK, PSA. And if I look over here on my transforms to, in my Transforms tools, if I look down in the Tabs list, I'm going to find that it also installed PSK, PSA tab. And here are the options for when you install. It may also install itself into various areas in here as well in the in the properties panel and I'm not going to go there simply due to the fact that this is just getting the uh, the add-on installed and working so here it is it's working again import I have the abilities to import PSK and PSA files now and that's it so with that now I can close off blender and say Private Jack out.